Oh, I have had a large, large collection of Sherlockiana, including newspaper articles and mimeographed things and Xerox things. And when I had a minor stroke ten years ago, I uh, didn't have it cataloged. And uh, I thought I might die, and so I decided I'd, it is, I, th I thought a, va a valuable collection, so I thought I'd uh, sell it. And I, I, I sold it to my friend Vinnie Brosnan, who is known as Sherlock in L.A. And he and his wife came up here for a, a weekend, and he looked at all my collection and took notes. And when he went back home, back to <coughs> back south, he uh, made me an offer which I couldn't refuse. I well, I would have taken any offer he offered, really. But anyhow, I I accepted his offer, and then he he brought a truck up and uh, a monster truck and loaded it up and hauled off my collection, most of my collection. Now, I kept books that were inscribed to me or books that I had a special feeling for, a few books that I had a special feeling for. And since that time, ten years ago, uh, I've, uh, I've acquired more books from my Sherlockian collection. So, uh, I'm starting a new collection, in a sense. So you not only did not die, but in fact you've prospered. <laughs> well, you've lived on. Yeah, I've lived on. Yeah, even even <coughs> though even though I was fired from hospice, but uh, it's all right. They put you in hospice when they think you have six months or less to live, mm -hmm. and they put me in hospice twice, and then they fired me because I I didn't live up to my end of the obligation. You didn't die. No, I didn't die. I'm like Joe Hill, I guess. I was listening to Joe Hill this morning. I've got one of my one of my bands on my music library is Paul Robeson singing Joe Hill. He uh, he was really he's really a good friend, and uh, he surprised even even uh, even daughter Beth. Uh, <laughs> was taken a few years ago. Wow, is that you? That's me, yeah. With daughter Beth. With, yeah. Wow. And, and you met Beth yesterday. Or and I met Beth yesterday. And... Wow. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, she's 50 years old now, so it, that's hard to believe that... Uh... When did you grow your mustache? Oh, uh... Hmm... Well, when I was teaching, maybe, you know, roughly speaking, 20 years ago, and I took Beth and some of her horsey friends to Samuel Taylor Park with their horses, and they spent three or four days there. I didn't shave during the time I was there, so when I came back, then I, I grew a little beard, and so I had a mustache and a beard. Uh, but... Uh, the beard scratched Mary, and I, I don't know, I wasn't really, that wasn't really me. So I shaved off the beard, but I left the mustache, and so, because it makes shaving a lot easier to have a mustache. So uh, I've left the mustache. I've had it for 20 years. It's now. very Sherlockian. Hmm? It's very Sherlockian. Oh, well, people say I look like Conan Doyle, some, well, some people say, mm -hmm. <laughs> one or two. They were they were trying to flatter me, I think. Whatever. Is it flattering to look like? Uh... Well, uh, he he was a, an intri Doyle was he was a good man. He, he was kind of strange, because he really did believe in spiritism. He referred to it, you know, we call spiritualism, but uh, he had some strange beliefs. He didn't believe he didn't believe in votes for women. He was against women's suffrage, and and he was liberal in most things, but uh, oh, he was a mixed man. And you, sir, what is your where is your stand on spiritualism and God? Oh well, 
I think that God is the epitome of uh, all that's good. God is good, and the devil is evil, and and that's so. The devil is the epitome of evil. So everybody uh, sort of picks his own goods and evil evils, and. Uh, Although I guess the last church I was a member of, uh, and still am in my heart, I guess, is the Unitarian Church because they, uh, well, one thing they never mentioned Christ, and uh, that's well enough. I mean, he's sort of a fantastic character. Uh, yeah, I heard the expression: if you take the O of orgasm and put <laughs> it into God, you have good. <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. So I, I am not. I am not a religious man, and I, and I think that organized religion has probably uh, done more harm than good. There are some good religion, some good religious people, and uh, a lot of people that claim to be religious uh, are not good people, <laughs> or whatever. And I have, besides the, this catalog, Sherlock in L.A., then I, my friend Vinny in L.A. did a supplement to my catalog uh, in which he listed a lot of minor items from my collection. And can we find his stuff online? Is Vinny online? Yeah, I'm sure he is. I have SherlockinLA.com, I think. And he, he still, I, I look at it, but I'm not really actively looking for things. I used to actively look for things uh, in you know, or Sherlockian. And I had a couple of dealers that looked for things for me. But now uh, I just buy things that sort of drift my way inadvertently. For instance, there's a deck of cards there. I was with Mary... Uh, and uh, here was a deck of cards on sale at, cards. at some uh, at a thrift store mm -hmm. for you know, twenty five cents or whatever. But they they're mystery authors, one of whom is Conan Doyle, and in fact Conan Doyle is on the the box. And uh, wow, I should have given that to my friend so Peter Blau. You do look like Conan Doyle. <laughs> look at that. That's, wow. That looks like Conan Doyle, you do. <laughs> wow. Well, 